Okay, part of the uh, opening day story is uh, a man by the name of Iliud Eloy Polygrates. Ako, I think we'll just call him Polygrates. Para Madonna. Or, poly, or, or Polygrates. Polygrates. Diba? Po, <laughs> Rolly Polygrates. Eh, basta ito si Polygrates talaga. Poly, pwedeng poly lang, pwedeng Polygrates. But bottom line, I, I think he's going to be a showstopper here in the PBA as, as a rookie. Uh, what a debut for him, Magu. And uh, you were there to cover it. And why don't you tell everyone about it? Kasi baka may mga hindi nakanood because, uh, you know, sabay siya ng Hinebra San Mi Coffee. So. Uh, it was... It was... It was the stuff dreams were made of. You finally get to the PBA level. What was he? The 27th pick? Basta mm-hmm. ano eh, very low pick na third rounder na. Um, it's the stuff dreams are made of. You hail from Cebu. You debut in your first ever professional game in your hometown with your family, with your friends, by the hundreds, by the thousands watching you. Eh, pagpasok pa lang, papunta pa lang scorer's table, palakpakan na yung mga tao eh. Palakpakan na, yan na, yan na, mapasok na. Yan ang nagagawa pag bumili ka ng isang daan, take it up, pinamigay mo. Unang hawak ng bola, palakpakan ka agad mga tao. And then, we were like, okay, you expect that from a hometown kid, from a hometown here. You expect that kind of reception. But then, nagulat kami sa naging performance niya. He was telling us before the game, papunta pa lang siya sa venue, kabadong kabado na rin siya, even if it's the same venue he's played in hundreds of times before. Siyempre, iba, big boys na yung kalaban mo, PBA guys na yun. Pero the way he performed, kesa nakabahan siya, inspired ball. Pasabi niya, pagpasok niya sa court, okay na daw eh. Natanggal niya ang kaba niya, yun siguro ang feeling ng, wala namang professional athlete sa atin, pare-pareho. Yun siguro yung ano, dahil bahay mo yun eh, di ba? Yung sanctuary mo, okay na siya. The way he performed, the way he put on that show, and umabot niya sa puntong the veterans of Talking Text, all of these quality champion athletes ng Talking Text, deferring to rookie, binibigay na sa kanya bola, di ba? Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Talagang nahuli niya yung tiwala kagad ng team niya. Uh, you, I mean, you have to be uh, innately talented. Hindi uh, <laughs> naman parang basta buenas lang yan, di ba, Charles? I mean, for especially for a team like Talking Text with so many talented players there, I don't think this is like a parang you know, like a one-hit wonder thing na hindi na mauulit. You know, honestly, even before the game, I talked to si Coach Sandy, who's the lead assistant there in Talking Text, and he told me they had a secret weapon, a guy they've been really impressed with. And I asked who? Sabi ko, sabihin mo na sa akin, di ba tayong maglalaban pa eh. And si, he said nga si Polygrates, so when I found out that he played well, I was like, wow. A bit shocked, but you know, he's a guy you'd really want to root for, kasi he, una, hindi naman siya naglaro ng big college dito. I don't think he even played in the D-League. Did he? He, he did. did. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Oh, well, whatever, but I mean, See? he's See? not one of the... Highly touted prospect. Yeah, yeah he wasn't. Third right. round pick, uh, right? I mean, like, galing sa, sa province pa, di ba? So, uh, and the only video of him uh, online is... Tumadamasa sa him. He got, he got, he got. Legendary diba? parang, video of him. Parang, uh, parang kung yun scout, if you're gonna base your scouting report on that, ay, matatakot ka kung yun siya. Actually, no, this, is, this is the exact reason why people need to be watching the D-League. Kasi sa D-League pa lang, ganyan na siya. Like, may higa, higa din. Which is why I'm not even surprised na he was the spark plug para dito sa Tokyo Text in their game against Meralco because that's what he was doing in the league. But league is very far from the PBA. A lot of the guys were... Have you seen the physicality there? It's crazy. Yeah, but, it's I mean, crazy. It's still, it's rare you're gonna find a guy in a, from the D-League, much less not one of the big, big stars play like this right away in the first their first but PBA. But also because he's like an underdog. Din siya dun, yeah. eh. That's why I also didn't expect him to have like a good debut. Because of course, Talking Text loaded the team. But, exactly. Yeah. But... This guy has really been, you know, a ball of energy ever since the league. So, good for him. I, I think it's also a feel-good story because, uh, you know, when you, when you find out the story, niya, no, I mean, actually, this guy was banned. <laughs> he was banned from, yeah. from in, in Cebu, in the yeah. in, yung Liga sa Cebu. And then, you know, people love him because he's, he's such a, you know, he's such a showman on the court. Entertainer. Eh, eh. wala kong coach mo siya kung <laughs> feeling ko puputi book mo sa kanya eh. <laughs> Baka pumutibok ni Coach Norman eh. <laughs> Dito kay Polycrates. But I think with him, you take the good with the bad. Actually, diba? yung sinasabi mo nga, baka pumutibok ni Coach Norman. <laughs> or ano. um, ang nakakagulat sa kanya, he comes up with a flash, he comes up with crazy moves. He had a near 360 pass for a three-point shot. Yung talagang, wow! Pinapayagan ni Coach Norman. Pero pagka naiipit siya, drives to the right, drives to the baseline. Ilang beses nangyari yun, uh, may iipit. He, na- he makes the nice kick out pass. He na- he makes the nice drop pass. He doesn't fo- at least for one game. He was not forcing it. Yun yung nakakagulat. As out of control as he looked, 
he was actually in control of what he was doing. I think he has to be in control because if not, <laughs> I mean, he hails from Camotes Island and I think during the interview, he gave a shout out yeah. to you know, his roots. And like I said, it's a feel-good story. Parang son of Cebu. Uh, at one point, he wanted to quit basketball. Kasi parang hindi niya siguro makita na paano ba ako abot ng PBA ko dito sa Cebu? Naban ako eh. No, I think 2009. And then, um, college diba? pa naman siya nun, di ba? Southwestern. Yeah, si Safi. He's like a si Safi uh, legend. Kasi so, larong labas lang naman yeah. yung kaso niya eh. Kaya siya naban. So, <laughs> might be out of need or... Uh, oh, but at least yun nga. Na, ano na, nalagpasan na niya yeah, yung, mga, yeah. yung mga challenges niya sa... For somebody oh, who almost, almost no? didn't have a career because of yeah. what he did. Diba? Yeah, best player. Best player. First course, game, of course, yeah. And ano, it, entering the fourth quarter, Meralta was still up by two. He strung together nine consecutive points, including a booming step back triple over Gary David. <laughs> ang, ang, Which ang, he has been doing for years. Ang, ang uh, pinakamalaking uh, nangyari doon. Okay, not too many people knew him. Not too, many, too much scouting report is out on him. Kaya nga, I want to see him in his next two, three games to see how everybody else reacts to him, especially when he plays Rain or Shine. <laughs> Kasi pag nalampasan nun, but binaboy niya si Poli, baka yung next wall of defense mo, si Big Bo, tsaka si Kinyahan. Let's see what happens. Kasi, si Gary David, galit na galit. Nabuisit na. Nabuisit na sa kanya. Na. Oh, Nainakablot na ni Gary. The, even the, the veterans from Meralco were like, siguro, who the hell is this guy? Is who the hell? Diba? Who is this guy? Diba? Naasar na talaga. Sabi mga secret weapon eh. Yeah. Oh, hindi na secret ngayon. No, no. Alam na na lahat. Oh, yeah, that's one thing the vets hate the most. Like a young guy diba? scoring on them. Oh, tapos yung ganyan-ganyan. Oh, oh, diba? Oh. Hindi talaga nila. Ay, <laughs> now that there's tape on him, let's see how he adjusts because everybody else is gonna adjust to him now. That one game, on that stage, you tape on every all the other teams, all the other eight teams will have an idea of how he plays. Let's see how he plays through that. So next game in is Rain or Shine, right? Nipa, nipa, nipa. But is he the baby blur? How will you compare him to Jason Castro? He's got, he's got different speeds. Eh. Si Jason Castro is deadliest when it's pedal to the metal ba- pedal to the metal basketball. Pagka talagang eh, sagaran si, ka. Uh, Polygrates. May ganun eh. <laughs> May ganun eh. Hindi ginagawa ni Jason oh, Castro yun eh. Fake pass here. Fake pass pabalik sa'yo eh. Grabe eh. Buti eh. Ginawa ba niya kay Gary yun? Baka yung El Granado sa'yo. <laughs> ah, dukin siya na ako. <laughs> ah, ganun ah. Sabihin ni Bobel ka, ah, ganun bata ah. <laughs> Malilista siya. <laughs> okay, so, uh, certainly a rookie to watch out for. Yeah. Uh, the name is Eloy Poligrates. Now a name and soon a legend. <laughs>